What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today, we have the legendary PSA return that we've been waiting for. Inside this box, we have 15 rare Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But before we do that, the giveaway for this video, I'll be giving away these three cards. We have a first edition, Kuriwo, it does have a crease in it, but it is first edition. We have a Magic Jammer and a Legacy of Darkness Tyrant Dragon. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from this return. Here we go, let's pop into it right away. I'm so hyped about this, I'm so scared. Okay. Here are the cards. That took way too long. Oh, I'm super nervous. We have some big cards in here. I don't know if they're in order or not, so we're just going to start. So the first thing is we're going to try and not reveal the grade. We have a Dark Paladin First Edition from Magician's Force. Check that card out. That card is super nice. These were all from that big collection we bought like two months ago at this point, month and a half. I don't know. The, I paid for Express, so it's $75 a card, so you guys can do the math. It was pretty expensive. So I'm hoping for at least something good here. Let's just get these off screen. All right, first card, Dark Paladin. Looks pretty clean. Oh my goodness, what a good start. What a start. Oh my, this was one of the cleanest cards, I think. So this is really nice. This card, I think, deserved it. There are a lot of cards in here that deserve tens. There are some that don't, though. So I'm expecting to not get some tens, especially on the blue eyes. But that is a crazy. That's a good start. That is a card I've always wanted. So that's really cool. I'm definitely going to keep that card. That card's really cool. All right, next one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dark Magician Girl. I'm going to guess a nine on this one. That's my guess for this. Uh, I think there were some slight scratches on it. It wasn't too bad. Um, if you look at how's the centering on this thing, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not like perfect, but it's pretty good. Let's see if I can see any of those scratches. I think there was some like right in the middle, but I can't really even tell. Actually, I see some, but yeah. So this should get this should get a nine, I think. Yep, there it is, mid nine. I think that's a good grade. I think that's a fair grade for it because there is. You guys can see it in there. You guys, let's see if I can find it. I can see it in the specific light. There's like this small little, I think it's right there. You guys can see it. It's a little bit of a, a scratch there. So a mint nine on the Dark Magician Girl. That's still really, really good. That's a nice card. So this is a good start, I'd say. We've got a 10 and we've got a nine. All right, next card. Injection Fairy Lily Secret Rare. This guy, or this girl, I guess, is way OC. So this thing, I think we'll get a nine based on that. But other than that, it's a mint card. So I think it should get a nine. And it did. Mint 9, that is a good grade. I'm happy with that. I think that's what it deserved. Simply because of the centering, it is a very minty card. It looks like it got pulled out of the pack. So there's a 9. We'll take that. All right, next we have Gemini Elf. I've graded one of these before. I, it got a 9. I cracked it, and then I accidentally slightly damaged it. So this is a different card, but maybe we'll get another chance at a 10 here. Uh, my voice is faltering. I've had a long day here. Oh, that one is not good. An eight. Okay, we got it on the, the elf, though. So that's probably the best one to get an eight in the whole submission. But I'm, I must have missed something on this one. Centering is not too good, so I probably dropped it down a little bit. Maybe had some scratches on it. An eight on the Gemini elf. All right, we're going in the wrong direction. We started with the ten. We got two nines, and now we got an eight. So let's uh let's get back where we're going. I think this is the last card that's not an LOB card. Oh, B-Skull. Yeah, so... uh have two of these now, and this could be the third one if we got a 10 on it, which would be pretty crazy. I don't remember what I thought about this one. There's a little bit of stuff on the back. I hate when they do that. Oh, well. Um, what about that corner? Maybe there's some whitening on it. Slightly right there. My thumbs, and I don't really need to cut my fingernails. Oh, yes! No way! Okay, so that slight whitening, I guess. Oh, it, it came off. It was on the case. No, you're kidding me. This is my third one now. I think I may be trading one of them to one of you guys, actually. So now I have two if I trade that one. Three Beast Skull Dragons. Okay, that's sick. That is super sick. Let's see. The centering seems like it... Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. I thought it was a little bit... It's, it's probably slightly off, but it's in the range. Okay, two Gym Mints. Two Gym Mints. Oh, can we get any LOB 10s? If we can get some LOB 10s, that would be huge because I need a lot of these cards for my collection. Of I, I'm collecting 9s and 10s for, for LOB, so not both 9s and 10s, but either 9 or 10. So if I get a 9 or a 10, it will replace or go into my collection really well. So this is a Glossy Red Geki. This is a really nice card. I need this one. I don't have this one at all, so if it's a 9 or 10, it's huge. 
Oh, it's an eight. What? Is it the centering? Oh, no. Well, I mean, it still goes into my collect. Okay, I do have this one because Rhyme gave me one. I have a seven. He gave me that seven. Um, and then I have a raw one that I bought. That one I bought off TCG. So what is wrong with this card? Why is it, a Why is it an eight? I hope that they... Oh, it's got to be centering. Okay, look at the bottom. The centering is abysmal. I, I didn't notice how bad it was down here. I bet it's only centering. That hurts because that card is clean. Oh, no. I'm getting scared now. They were... Looks like they were strict on the centering. All right, swords. How's the centering on this one? Um, it's... Ooh. It's kind of the same. Oh, please be a nine. <laughs> oh, no. They're killing the supers. I needed this one, too. So now I have an eight, not a nine. Oh, that hurts so much. Oh, that, that really hurts so much. Okay, next card. Mystical Elf, of course, I already have this one a nine. It'll be a nine. Watch this. What? A six? What? Okay, these all have the same centering. Okay, where's the six? Why? Oh, wait, wait. Is it bent down there? It. Oh, it's bent down there. Did they do that? I don't remember it being like that. It's possible. I mean, I, I didn't have these for very long. Oh, a six. Okay, a six. So this has gone the wrong way. We've gotten two tens, two nines, we've got three eights, and we've got a six. So, okay, look. It's okay. They're just supers. They're just super. I think we have one more super in here. Okay. Celtic Guardian. Okay, let's, what's the centering? Yep, it's at least an eight. Cause it, oh my god. Like, look how much it... Yep, it's an eight. All for that centering. It's because they're, they're tilted. You guys can see how thick it is there and thin, and then it gets like a little bit wider as it goes up. And this one gets thinner. Yeah, that is... Oh, that is brutal. I somehow didn't notice that when I was sending those in. Oh, my... That hurts a lot. Okay, we're on to the Ultras. How is... How's the centering on these? Okay, it's not as bad, thankfully. Okay, we'll take a 9. We got a 9 on the Ultra. Guy of the Fierce Knight. I already have this one, PSA 10. So, uh, yeah, we'll take this 9. I don't really... Let's see if I can figure out what's wrong with it. I really don't know. Man, this card looks good. Is it nine worthy? Oh man, that's tough. That's pretty tough. That's a tough nine. Oh come on. Oh come on. Give give me a give us a ten on LOB. Okay, right leg. This would be really cool. Let's see. How's centering on it? Centering is good. It's very good. What's that at the top? Is that in the case? Oh gosh. Okay, back centering's not too good. A nine. Okay, that's not bad because I do need this one. We'll take that. I, I don't know what that is at the top up here. It looks like a speck of dust that's trapped in there. Okay, so we got another nine on LOB. Another nine. Okay. All right, we're about to run out of chances at a ten because, oh, no. Because once we hit blue eyes, it has no chance. This would be a huge nine. This card was really nice. The back centering is bad like a lot of glossy, uh, glossy cards. Let's see. Where's the seven? Why is it a seven? Why is it? Why is it a seven? Somebody tell me. What is wrong with this card? Is there is there a bend up there or something? Maybe there's a bend on that corner. Is that what that is? I don't know. A seven? No. <laughs> that is not good. That is not good. Okay, so now I have a BGS nine and a seven. Okay. Here we go. If you guys will, you guys will know that one, one of these cards is. You guys see that? Yeah, you'll remember this maybe. Okay, we have Dark Magician with the huge binder ding in it. I don't even know. I'm guessing like a four or a five. Let's see. A six. They because this card, I guess, is so clean. They gave it a six. Wow, that's a that's a strong. I mean, that's a weak six. I give you that. That is a strong grade for this card. I mean, just look at that. You can see the bend. I mean, you can see the bend. It's pretty bad. But we're taking a six on this card. These two cards got the same grade. Just saying. These two cards. This card is bent. And this card, I think, has a slight bend. But you have to, like, look for it. So, that's pretty rough. This card is clean other than that. But, I mean, with that big of a bend, I've got to give it at least, like, a five, I think. Okay. Next one. Okay. Can we print, can we get a six here? This one's, this one's even worse, though. So... But we'll take a six, but it's not going to happen. We got Blue Eyes White Dragon, the one and only. You can see the dent through the card. I mean, it's just, oof. Other than that, the surface is so clean. 
Um, centering's not too bad. I think there's a little spot on the bottom of whitening. But overall, it's a Blue Eyes White Dragon first edition. Centering is terrible. I'm guessing A4. Yep, a PSA 4. That was my guess. And I think that is more of a fair grade than the Dark Magician. But we will take this. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Highest grade one I've ever had. I used to have a 1.5. You guys remember the legendary 1.5. But now we have a 4. That's not too bad. That's pretty cool. Okay, so um, don't know what I'm going to do with that. It'll go in the 6 stock pile. Okay, finally we have Guy the Dragon Champion. Can we get a 10 on this huge secret rare? I mean, this card was nice. This card was nice. This would be big. I used to have a 9 in this, and I sold it to get the blue ass box. So I kind of regret that, but let's see. Jim Mint, Gaia the Dragon Champion. That is a huge, huge card. I don't even own this one. I don't own it at all. So a 10 is absolutely massive. That is big time. Oh my goodness. That is really, really awesome. Jim Mint 10. This is going in. Look at the centering on the back. That is not too good. That just shows you they don't care about the back centering, like at all. They don't care about it. If the front is nice, you can get that 10. Wow, Jim Mint 10. Okay, so I, I'm pretty happy with this. I cannot complain about three Jim Mints that are Beast Gold. Oh, look at the fusions. Those fusions are rocking for us. Fusions went three for three. That's all I'm saying. That's two huge pulls. Or, that is three huge pulls. Then we got the other things I'm happy about about this video. We got a right leg. And right leg is nice because I didn't have it. Gaia. The, all the nines I'm pretty happy with. Dark Magician Girl, that's huge. Um, but the eights, I'm super disappointed in those supers. I didn't notice this, the centering on them. So I was expecting at least nines. Red Eyes I thought was a 9, it got a 7, I guess I missed something. And then Blue Eyes I expected, super happy about Dark Magician, and uh, Mystical Elf was shocked. So overall, overall very, very happy. Awesome submission, and uh, we, got some we got some poor grades, but we also got some great ones, so I will take that, that's how it goes with PSA. And I hope you guys have a great day, thanks for watching, see you guys later, peace. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! <laughs> <laughs>